Woo! Which is actually heating up my car, which is behind the camera over there. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and it's actually quite early. It's not even eight o'clock in the morning today and there is bad traffic pretty much everywhere. And I'm just about to join the M25, which I've already checked on Google Maps and it is red the whole way around. So I have got a lot of time to kill. So today I am gonna be vlogging a more of a, a daily vlog style. I'm just gonna take a camera with me everywhere that I go. Uh, because to begin with I've been invited down to Southern Sky Motors. Southern Sky Motors is where I picked up and bought my Lamborghini Gallardo from and it's also where they sold my Audi R8 and they've invited me down to drive a couple of new cars that they've just taken into stock. Now if you'd have asked me to drive these cars a couple of months ago I probably wouldn't have been too fussed about it. One of them is the AMG GTS, the new Mercedes AMG GTS 2015 car and the other one is an Aston Martin Virage. Now you may have seen on social media that Sam, Tim and Seb are trying to troll me into buying an Aston Martin, but I'm not gonna budge that quickly. So I'm driving the Virage because it's an odd car anyway. Aston Martin kind of dropped it pretty quickly. Um, but I'm also driving the AMG GTS because after spending some time with it in Manchester with Manchester Tom, not TGE, that's London Tom, um, in the AMG GTS Edition 1, I kind of fell in love with it. I love the interior. I actually love the sound of it, even though it's twin turbo. And it just looks quite cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down and I'm actually filming a separate video to this, which is gonna be going live next week, which is what do you get for your money? A used Lamborghini or a new supercar? Or a new super sports car, whichever you, whatever category you wanna put those two cars in, the AMG and the Aston Martin. So I'm excited about today. I'm gonna to be productive and then I'm driving around the M25 to Dub Customs to check out the progress on my Lamborghini wrap, which I am thrilled about. I'm so excited and love the color that it is. So, um, yeah. We've got a GTR there. Look at that. Ferrari 360 Spider in December. Guy's a madman and a GTR, which is not so mad. <laughs> And she was like, oh, oh sorry. Great. Um, <laughs> you wasn't as bad as that. Um, Morning, lols. Yeah, not great, really, is it, in your face? Um... Finally off the motorway and we um, still behind some cars but it's definitely free flowing traffic. The last time that I came down this side of the road was in Jack's rose gold Nissan GTR on the way to Southern Sky Motors to pick up the Lamborghini on the day of the Lamborghini dream. And then the, the last time that I drove on the other side of the road, this side of the road, was actually when I was driving home in the Lamborghini, so this road will always be in my memory of uh, the day that I picked up my Lamborghini, which still seems like a, a dream. Still seems like a dream. And there's loads of content that I want to produce about not only that day, but achieving dreams in general. Uh, what it was like, did the Lamborghini live up to its expectations? Um, and I feel like now is probably the right time to try and film those videos. So around the Christmas time, I'm gonna be filming those videos and uploading them over the Christmas period because now that I've had the car for near enough a quarter of a year, I can start thinking about how good the car is, running costs, and start thinking about living with a Lamborghini. So as you can see, I'm down the side of, um, well, the Southern Sky Motors building is here. There's a load of building work going inside, and as you can see, there's building work going around all of here, which um, is insane, but in December is probably the best time to do it. Let's head inside, check out some of the cars that they've got in, and then jump in the Mercedes and go for a drive. Aston Martin DB9, R8 V10, a Porsche, <laughs> loads of building work, a massive Christmas tree. And we've got the M6, Aston Martin Virage, we've got 
Grant just putting some trade plates on the Mercedes AMG GTS that we're going to go out for a drive in and then we've got the Maserati there so um, they've got some pretty awesome cars in here I can't wait to get behind the wheel of that Mercedes take it out and just try and understand what you can get for the same sort of money as a, a used Lamborghini 2015 brand new Mercedes super sports car So here we go, we have parked it in what is soon to be the new Southern Sky Motors showroom. But this car looks so good. It looks so good and I've now got this beast camera out which I'm going to start filming the drive on this car. And I think what I'm going to do now, rather than drive the Aston Martin and this, I'm just going to drive this car and compare it to the Lamborghini Gallardo. What an awesome experience the AMG GTS is and I apologise for, I suppose, the awful little bit of the vlog because I've actually just driven it, filmed it on that camera, um, which is going to go live at a later date whilst I'm probably away next week. Um, but I feel like it's a good video. I think it's a good video. Um, explains the car well. Really, really great experience to get behind the wheel of that car. And whilst I was out, Southern Sky Motors have cleaned the nuke, which... I'm very, very thankful of, so thank you Sun Sky Motors for providing that service. I was only coming down to drive the car and I've cleaned the inside and exterior of my car. Um, so yeah, that is amazing. I'm now gonna head around the M25. I've got an hour and a half journey to Dub Customs where I can catch up with the boys and see how they're getting on with my wrap, which um, I probably won't put in camera or if I do, it'd be black and white, but then I'll show you some of the other cars that they've got there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have an afternoon at Dub Customs doing some filming for the video of the wrap, which actually you would have already seen. So no, no, the vlog's going live. I'm confused with where, when all of these videos are going live because of I'm having to film videos for next week as well whilst I'm away. So um, I apologize for that. Let's go to Dub Customs. <laughs> right, I'm just about to hit Guildford and I've come up with a genius idea not really an idea, it's actually like the worst thing. If someone said to me I was going to do this today, I'd say no thanks. I am going to drive the whole way around the M25 today. That is what, that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> I'm driving from Watford. I've driven from Watford to the A3 to drive down to Guildford. I'm now going to be driving up the A3 to join the M25 where I left the M25 and continue driving anti-clockwise towards Dartford, over the Dartford crossing, and then off up to Basildon. And then leaving Dub Customs, I'm going to go home the normal way, which means that I go back down the dual carriageway, join the motorway at Basildon turn off, and then carry on going around past the rest of Essex, Potter's Bar and St Albans. So today, I'm doing a lap of the M25. No, that is not fun in the slightest. At least there's some cool car stop-offs along the way. We have made it to the wonderful world of Dub Customs to check out how the Lamborghini's looking. So as always, I am back at my work desk here at Dub Customs. <laughs> Even though I don't work here. But when my car is getting done or whenever work is happening to my car, um, I come here I'm either editing or uploading, but right now, I have been doing a lot of admin for the Supercars of London Clothing. So all of the latest orders that have come in have been sent out to ATW for them to process, print, and then they get sent out in time for Christmas. So um, that's that done. Um, I still probably not gonna show you what my car looks like because I haven't launched it yet, which is happening tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna be coming down to Dub Customs tomorrow and filming with Sam and a couple of other friends as well, which I'm looking forward to. Um, so, I suppose, let's have a look at some of the cars that they have got in, not my Lamborghini. So we've got the resident, resident TBR there, we've got the 16M here, which is having some work done. There's the bumper over there. Um, so it doesn't really look like a 16M. We've got a Rolls Royce here, which is massive. A huge Gumball 3000 logoed up heater. 
Woo! Which is actually heating up my car, which is behind the camera over there. And we've got a dub blue Aston Martin DB9. If you have a look around the back, you get to see that there is an extended spoiler there and also a really cool blue diffuser. We've got new lights there that have been wrapped black. So, so cool. Um, I really, really like this car. It looks very aggressive and it's kind of like a facelift DB9. Um, when it first came in, it was a dark red. As you can see here, so this is all the actual color of the car and they're stripping everything out inside and redoing the whole lot in black so that it matches the outside of the car which is going to have black wheels um, and yeah it looks pretty cool not like this it doesn't so I've made a great escape from Dub Customs and there's a few reasons behind my decision to leave so early the time is now quarter to four and the M25 at the moment is a nightmare and I'm doing my last leg of the M25 lap today and it's likely to be quite busy so I wanted to get back and try and skip out as much as traffic as possible but the second reason I was about to say the main reason but I think I said the main reason for the last one anyway they're both main reasons the other main reason is that the last every single time that a car has been wrapped of mine so the three times on the R8 I watched the whole process get done and I was so impatient to see the final finished product that I almost like teared my hair out. So when I went baby blue, every single time I looked at the car and there was silver visible, I started to get annoyed. I just wanted to see the final finished product. So every time I was looking at my car today, I could just see little bits of white here and there of when they hadn't done a panel or they hadn't done a door. So I was like, I was just, started to get annoyed at the fact that my car wasn't finished which I know isn't the right way of looking at it because it takes time and precision to get that perfect and they are doing an absolutely fantastic job I was about to say the color there which would have ruined the whole surprise um, but anyway the dub custom boys I have literally stripped the car every single grill has come out the both doors have come off wing mirrors have come off body panels have come off, the front bumper came off to get wrapped, so they are going all out to make sure that there is no white visible, which I can't thank the guys enough for doing, and the full reveal is going to be across my social media tomorrow and on YouTube, so that is going to be insane because I think it is the best colour possible that you can get on any car. I know it's a bold statement, but... I think it is right, so hopefully you guys are going to like it as well. I'm about to hit the M25, um, and I need fuel. I forgot about the fact that I need fuel, so I'm going to go and get fuel, and then do the final leg of the M25 lap. I've done the whole M25 today. <laughs> I can't believe it. We've got the packages here. By the way, it's just, I can just see your head just going backwards and forwards. The Audi R8 V10 Plus or AMG GTS and an M4.